My, 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 that was a bit of a sexy intro. <laughs> Crikey. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first part of my blind let's play of Tomb Raider Legend. And that's, um, Legend without an S, see, I remember this time. Okay, so... Hello, Laura. So, okay, let's hit start, shall we? I love the way it says, featuring Laura Croft, just in case you didn't know, you know, it wouldn't really beat the game without Laura Croft. Okay, so in this game, it looks like we've got Croft Manor again, which was included in the first game, and that's a tutorial level. Do I dare just start a new game? Let's check the options first, shall we? Because it might have something to do with difficulty in it. Oh, right, invert. Okay, that's... Aim and Bionics invert, yes. I guess I want that. Okay, okay. Um, combat mode, vibration on... Okay, right. Let's... Right, so... What do I know about this game? Because this is a blind let's play, I've never touched it before. What do I know about it? I do know for a fact this is the first game in the Tomb Raider series to not be made by Core Design. Because they went very downhill with the series. They made, um, I think it was a total of six games, and the very last one, Angel of Darkness, was just a complete and utter failure. Um, after that, they dropped the series. I believe they must have sold it, and shit, it's going on to some kind of debt. Oh, it's just going on to that again. Um, and Crystal Dynamics, who were actually a subsidiary of Square Enix by this point, brought the series off them, and this is their first game, and technically this is a rehash of the series. So, um... I guess we'll just start the game, shall we? Okay, so we've got difficulty. And we're scrolling left and right for that. It's... We've got easy, expl explorer easy. Adventurer medium. And Tomb Raider hard. I guess we'll go for adventurer medium. As I mentioned most of the time, you know. Um, I like a good challenge, but I don't like it to be too hard because I don't want to make the game impossible for myself. Okay, so let's continue, shall we? Um, Anya telephoned today. She heard a rumor about an ancient temple in Bolivia that contains an ornate stone dais, or something like that, I don't know. Um, oh, it's not going to give me a chance to read that. Thank you. doesn't mean they're not real. That is very true, but perhaps they don't wish to be found. I've heard they're rather fierce. Yeti only look fierce. They probably don't like being so cold all the time. I shouldn't like it either. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. Oh, that's adorable. Look! Henry, what's happened? Lady Croft, please Are we going to crash? Carpet engine non responsive. Not unless it's absolutely necessary. Stabilizer jam. Kicking runner at losing altitude. We're going full nose down. Close your eyes, darling. I don't want to close my eyes. Now one thing that is quite interesting actually, um, Core Design is an English company, they're the produce they're the ones who actually kicked off the Tomb Raider series. And uh, Chris Hall Dynamics, who took over, are also an English company. Alright, so we're a present day now. Give you that idea. Really, Zip. It's like going up a set of stairs. Only far less boring. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to throw up every time you look down. Hey, Alice is back. Grab a headset. Back so soon? <laughs> From Florence, wasn't it? Decided on Genoa at the last minute. My dissertation will never see daylight at this rate, but never mind that. What are you doing in Bolivia? Ascending. 
behind my Alistair, mind. Me too, an arc. She's a lovely pre Incan civilization, currently in ruins. Delighted. I've been looking for certain artifacts. Well, for some time now. And an old friend working in La Paz has tipped me off by a rather promising rumor. What sort of artifacts? An ornate stone dais, among other things. A big rock. She won't say why. Oh well. Where would the suspense be otherwise? Okay, I just want to stay a bit quiet while I was while they were talking, so I could figure out the controllers. Um yeah, I might have a few difficulties because it does seem the training level may have been Oh, never mind. Press X to jump. Press X again while holding in the direction to jump in that direction. Hold X for longer to jump higher and further. Okay, so seems pretty straightforward, I guess. Right. Pick up rewards. Right. Okay. The controls on this game seem pretty nice. And Laura seems a bit sexy. Jesus. Right. Okay, does she grab on automatically or do I need to actually press a button to grab onto ledges in this game? Oh, hello again. It was triangle, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, so the only other game that I played in the series is, of course, um. Oh, shit. How do I go off carefully? Like that, okay. How do I get off? Right. Yeah, the only other game that I've played, need I say, is Tomb Raider, and of course I did a Let's Play of that. How do I, um... Oh, hello. That's an interesting way of getting out the weapons, I suppose. Where am I going from here, then? Um... I guess I might be going up there, actually. Whoops. No? Maybe not? Okay. <laughs> Already a bit lost, aren't we? Oh dear. Um, hmm. I don't know, this does look like the way I should be going, actually. How do I get up there, though? Oh! Okay. Oh, she could swim in this game! That's interesting. Alright, get out of the water, then. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, right, okay, we've got quick time in this game as well. Hey, do me a favor and check your PDA. It still works, if that's what you're wondering. Cool, they said it was waterproof. You should be able to swim with it, no problem. Unless you eat it, then you'll have to wait an hour. Unless you're what? Did he say eating? Right, press select to use your PDA. Okay, we have objectives. Ah, I can finish reading this. Right, okay, um, where was I? Dias, uh, it, sh it could be the one that I'm looking for. I'm setting out uh, first thing in the morning, and I guess we've already done that. Find the ancient stone, Dias, I think that is, of Tuwanaku. <laughs> I apologize for my pronunciation. Okay. Um, oh, right, it says rewards here, okay. I guess these are the secrets of the game, because some of you guys who I hope are watching right now, thank you very much if you are, guys who are rejoining me from Tomb Raider, regardless, thank you for joining me, um, you know, regardless of not whether you watch my previous stuff, um, yeah, you, anyway, you guys informed me about rewards, uh, these are the secrets of the game, I've already found two bronze ones, which is cool, okay, um, so we got health pack, has quite an interesting system, I have to say. Portable light source kinetic ch right. Okay. We have some binoculars as well. What's PLS stand for? Uh, I'll have to have a look at that and see what it is. So I think I can. Oh right, there we go. That's interesting. Toggle Ari. Oh, that's night vision, is it? That's something I could move. <laughs> Okay. That's interesting. She actually analyzes things. I didn't actually mean to do that. It's the only thing that I can actually see that... Yeah, it is. Wow. It's the only thing that I could have used that on. The little feature whereby she kind of analyzes what it is. 
Well, this is interesting. This is interesting. I've got to say that. Um, how do I get off it, though? Right. Okay, so what else is there? There's guns. What the frick is this? Oh, I guess it's a light. Okay. Right, so grab movable obstacles. Hold our, um, R1. I mean, triangle. Okay. That's that dealt with, I suppose. Right, where am I going now? Am I jumping across here? Uh, running jump, maybe? Right. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Kind of jumps off the other side. Does that mean I've got to go all the way around again? Probably does, doesn't it? Alright, that won't take a moment. Still getting used to the controls, of course. Alright. Okay, that didn't take a moment. Right. Remember not to jump off the other side this time. Oh, come on. Hop up. There we go. Right, and I guess in this game, yes, I was right to think that, you can climb up things, which is interesting. Right, move. Right, I guess I've got to jump across this way and then jump over here. Mmm, I'm liking this system. I'm really liking this. I think they may have introduced this kind of stuff, like swinging from stuff and jumping across things earlier on in the Tomb Raider series, so I don't think this is anything new to the game. Uh, like I said, I've only played the first one, so I wouldn't really know. Oh, dear. Didn't mean to do that. wanted to jump across to there. Okay. Oh, I like this. Okay. I wonder if I can, um... Let's jump back. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, I should be careful. I should be really careful. That was not very clever of me. No, I just noticed there were more ropes um, here and there. And did I just... Oh, bloody hell. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna... It's gonna take me a while to find my feet in this game, because the... I've gotta say, the controls are pretty complex in comparison to most games. And of course, I'm not used to this at all. It's very rare that I play, um... Games that were made past, um... About 2006 these days, if I'm being honest, so... Right, let's try that one more time, shall we? Right, I'm just wondering if you can actually change the swing, the direction it goes. Because I noticed there's this here. Yes, yeah, she can, she can, she can rotate round, cool. Okay, let's give this a go, because I want to try and get in there instead. Right, I can turn on the light using that. And what's in here? Anything interesting? Yes, there we go. See? Oh, I'm I'm quite happy with myself here. Okay, so can get off here. All right, this, la this light looks like it's going to last quite a while. So we found one of the silver secrets. And how many secrets is there in total again? Right, five silver, um, ten bronze, and one gold. So let's have a look, shall we? I gotta keep my eyes peeled. I gotta keep my eyes wide open and see if I can find some of these things. Because there is a lot of them. Let's see just how many I can find. Is there any benefits to getting them up? Oh, don't worry. Deep breath, sip. This will be a long trip otherwise. <laughs> I forgot you were such an optimist. Right. Okay, so. Oh, you can move faster in this game. I like that. Uh, one thing that I really hated about Tomb Raider, um, can I, did I come from that? I did, yes. Sorry, I was just wondering if I can drop, I could have dropped down a ledge to, uh, that place there that was below me. I'm still in the Tomb Raider mindset, you know. And, yeah, that's the rope swing that I was using previously. Right, where can I go from here? Jump across this way. Oh. Okay. That's not really much of a problem. That was too close. That was too close. I was stuck right next to it. Perhaps if I didn't notice it, but my controller was vibrating so much that it was pretty hard not to. I'm, I'm pretty thankful for the vibration, I must say. Oh dear me. I actually had a look. Um, you'll find this quite amusing. I had a look before I started playing this game to see if it was possible to make... Um, 
if there was a cheat to make Laura's breasts triangular. Just as a joke, because I thought it would be quite amusing if they did include it, but no, Crystal Dynamics have not done that. Right, so I want to, I guess I want to shimmy over this way. I am loving, I am absolutely loving the controls for this game. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I cannot tell you how impressed I am. I've no, I'm, I played Tomb Raider Anniversary briefly, and I really didn't like it much, if I'm being honest. Copy that. I'm here, but I don't oh. see no climber. Yeah, well, I can't shoot on sight if I can't see nobody. Got worked up thinking I'd put someone down today. Now there's nothing. He owes me one. Okay. Hell yeah, I'll tell Rutland myself. You know Hold, holding L1. Right, how do I shoot though? Is it with R1? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's all good. Any idea who he is or who he works for? I haven't the foggiest. He's deliberately unremarkable. Is that good or bad? It's deliberate, which isn't good. Did his body just disappear? Right, okay. Um. RDA mode. What do I need RDA mode for? Oh, it's found something. What's that? Why is it locking onto it? Okay, it's another one of these bronze things, I suppose. I wonder what the benefits are to actually picking these up. Hmm. Hope I find out at some point. Right, so why why exactly did it lock onto this? I know I can probably use this to climb up this way. I think actually that's pretty obvious, really. Um, I f right, I can use... Oh, what, what's the use in this? Push it off here. Oh, I see! Oh, right, okay. That's pretty clever. Right. Okay, so where are we going from here? Is there anywhere I can go that's ultimate? No, it doesn't look like it at the moment. Whoops. Okay. Oh, we can do rolls in this. That's interesting. Right. I guess, um... I want to balance along this here. If I can figure out how. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe I'm supposed to shimmy across it. Because, well, yeah, I think that's definitely the case, because Laura's just not... Laura's just flat out refusing to balance along that thing. Oh, a bit glitchy. Oh, wait a second, I see. It's got this branch here. Right. I've got to say, I like the music in this game as well. It's pretty, um... can't really hear it very much over the sound of, you know what's going on here, but, um, it sounds pretty good. I'm just wondering, can I... whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. Probably a bit more careful, I suppose. Right, let's try jumping back that way. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I'm keeping my eye, eyes out for, um, what are they called again? It doesn't say, actually. Rewards, I guess? Yeah. Right, okay, um... Oh, I see! Oh, I like that! Oh, hang on a moment, that was going to attach onto something then, wasn't it? Oh, maybe not. So how do I make full use of this grappling hook? Swear to God. So what? He jumped out and started swinging? Oh no, dear. Around, screaming and yelling, whatever. Yeah. Well, I would have kicked the hell out of him. 
I just noticed that when she was moving, oh, they disappeared. Yeah, I kind of noticed uh, when she was moving, her breasts were just jiggling all over the bloody place. See, they've made her a bit more, you know, sexy, so to speak. I can't, I can't complain about that. She is quite a attractive character, you know. Uh, anyway, let's continue, shall we? So, we're going... Now, the, the thing that I really didn't like about Tomb Raider Legend... Uh, sorry, I mean, uh, Anniversary... Is that it seemed kind of obvious where exactly you were supposed to go. Now, I didn't really play it that much, so maybe I was just being a bit judgmental, because I preferred the original, you know. Um, we'll see how I like this, we'll see. I'm enjoying it so far, I really am. Okay. S right. Oh shit. Oh, she still has all the little side flips and everything. How do you do them, though? There we go. That is beautiful. I like that. Right. Okay, are we using... <coughs> press X to jump, and then press X again to connect. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty nice. I'm liking the controls in this game. Right. Oh, she can do a double jump as well. Yeah, she can. She can do acrobatics. What the hell? That's pretty awesome. Um. Ah. I see you. How do I get up to you, though? Oh, I can actually just pull you down. Come on, look up at it. I can't remember what button it was to pull it down. Oh, I did it, okay. It was triangle. Right. Yeah, I apologise if I'm going a bit slow with this, but again, it's, you know, starting a new game. It's one thing I always worry about, because the first part of a Let's Play makes... Oh. You say that to all the ruins. I'm a terribly lucky girl. Mm -hmm. And here come the bloody tourists to spoil you. Your gear doesn't pick up detail that small. What do you see? Men with guns. Mercenaries by the look of them. What are they doing there? Getting into trouble. Okay. So what can I do here? Oh right! I didn't realise what I was doing then, I just pressed it. Okay. So... Created a rock slide there. Oh. Here we go, we got the little slidey thing here. Right. Uh, I guess this is a medipack. Oh, where is he? Oh, come back. Lock onto him. Oh yeah, of course, you have to... Um, who the hell's shooting at me now? Oh, it's this guy. There he is. Right, is that all of them sorted out? I completely missed what... Um, that said. Uh, I guess you can only carry a maximum of three medipacks, so I just went and used one of them. Right said something about ammunition? I didn't actually read it. Pick up new weapons and ammo and health and grenades. Uh, sorry? To pick up... Oh, right, sorry. Right, pick that up. That's pretty awesome. I can have a machine gun. Uh, it looks... It kind of looked like I could jump up this ledge, although it does seem that I'm wrong about that. What about this? No. Okay, um... Right, where am I going from here, then? Okay, I can only carry a maximum of three.
Right. Uh, where am I going from here? Something just came up then. Oh, reloading. That was a bit over the top. I kind of shot that, um... Shot the, um little rock thing there and it just kind of like flew across the oh I can only carry one other weapon right I guess I'll stick to this one for now then what's this oh it's another one of these guns what kind of guns this then oh it's the same one as the other one right okay I don't know the difference at the moment so, is there any... yes there is this one there. Okay, doing quite a good job here. Um, it's a gun down here apparently. Um, so where am I going from here? I kind of disorientated myself a little actually. Oh right, I think I've gone back to the beginning of this. Oh whatever, I can just go back round again. It's no real problem. Oh. I wasn't supposed to have done that, was I? Apparently that's a bit too high to jump up, so let's go around again. Oh dear. I'm sorry if my commentary is a bit flat on this, by the way. I'm kind of just getting my head around this game, in a way. Yeah, as I mentioned, um, as I was going to mention, actually, I didn't actually do it. Yeah. The first part of Let's Plays are always seem to be the worst, really. Because I'm, I'm always feel a bit nervous that I've got to like make a, f a good first impression, and sometimes you know I kind of get into this point now where I think, oh god, my commentary is going awful, you know, and I'm not really talking that much. Oh, she picks up ammo automatically. That's interesting. Um, yeah, and I'm not doing such a good job, you know. I'll climb up here apparently. Oh. Or I could have just walked up the stairs. You know, I thought I'd be awkward. And waste more time. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any secrets around here. Or any, um... I forgot what they're called already, again. Rewards, that's it. Yes, rewards. I've just got a nice overview here, so we could be able to see... I mean, we should be able to see, um... If there is anything we can pick up from here. And again, again, I want to mention that I really like the music. Of course, uh, Crystal Dynamics, before they made this game, they would have, you know, that. Well, before they were brought out by Square Enix, they had their own set of games to focus on, like. Um, what's this all about? Like. Uh, Soul Reaver, for example. Ooh! Okay, I didn't notice those. I thought that was stairs. I honestly did. Um, yeah, so... Crystal Dynamics were... Fo before this, they had uh, Soul Reaver, they had Gex. It's a useful survival skill. And um, I can't remember the other games there. Of course, the Legacy of Cain games, but I've already mentioned that. Soul Reaver is one of them. There was also Blood Omen. They did that game as well, uh, Defiance, which is a merge of the two. What's all this stuff for? Moving heavy materials deeper into the mountain, probably. Sometimes ancient builders had to tunnel around hard rock deposits. Yeah, I was originally doing a Let's Play of Soul Reaver, but I got rid of it because it, it, it kind of bored me a bit, so... Right. So what are we doing here, then? I guess we want to go this way, don't we? Let's see, is there anything else I can do here? 
Just keeping my eye out for the rewards. No, let's just jump through, shall we? Um, right. Okay, so I guess the only thing I can do here is jump over to this. It's going to take me down. Uh, I was just wondering if there was any secrets then for a moment. Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Let's keep moving, shall we? Whoops, what am I doing? Uh, right. Okay, we've got a bit of an underwater thing here. And um, If you haven't joined me before, one thing I hate... Uh, how do you... Oh, you swim down by pressing there. Okay, got it. Oh my god, the controls on this. Shit. Bloody hell, how do you... How do you use these? Fuck, I should have read that a bit better, shouldn't I? Come on, get to the surface. Oh my god. I was worried then. Her breath runs out so much quicker in this game. Oh, what the fuck is that down there? She has a bit of a weird, sort of, over-the-top way of swimming in this. No. Oh, I'm underwater! Come on, Laurie, get back. Oh shit. Fuck! What am I doing? Uh. Will you stop going under the bloody water? Why are you doing that? Oh god, she is a bit cute. Um, I guess she must automatically submerge as I move towards areas that you can't access. So let's just go under here and check first. I'll try my best to... Okay. That's taking me to another room. I have a feeling I was meant to have come this way, actually. Uh, yeah, it does seem to be the case. Just go back and check if there's any rewards in the previous room. So it was through into here, because there was an area I could have got out. Here. Yes, there is. Okay, fantastic. Come on, Laura. Keep moving. Uh, I, I've got to say, the controls for this are a bit bizarre, but after you get used to them, which is pretty quick, because we've already managed, they're really good. They're really useful, effective control. Oh my god, what's that? Oh shit. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Why predators attack prey larger than themselves is a mystery. Okay. And a pity. I wasn't expecting that, because I had a feeling that all the enemies in this game were actually, um... Well, that's interesting. Oh! 